Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to create custom reports in Google Analytics 4. First of all, we need to access our Google Analytics 4 property and data stream. And then we need to click on Explore from the left-hand side. So we are going to open the left-hand side menu and click on Explore. Once we do that, then in the middle, we're going to find an option that is called Free Form. So this option is the equivalent of custom reporting in Universal Analytics. It is a quick and easy way to access data on demand. So I'm going to click here on Free Form, and now we are ready to get started with our custom reporting. So how does it work? Let me clean up everything here so we can start from scratch. There are two columns on the left-hand side, variables and tab settings. Under variables, we need to decide what are the dimensions and the metrics that we're going to include in our report. For example, do we want to report on channel performance, on source slash medium performance, on country performance? This is the dimension. And what are the metrics that we want to include in the report? For example, sessions, users. So that's the first thing that we need to do. So let's say that we want to create a top level channel report. Under dimensions, we are going to click on the plus symbol. And then I'm going to use the search bar to find the dimension that I want to include. In our case, we are going to select session default channel group. And I'm going to click here, import. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is I need to decide on the metrics that I want to include. So I'm going to click here, the plus symbol. And let's say that we want to include some very top level metrics. For example, total users, number of sessions, maybe number of engaged sessions, and let's say maybe the average time per session, how much time people spend on the site. I'm going to select my metrics and I'm going to click on import. So now under variables here, under the dimensions column, I have the dimension that I want to include in my report. And under the metrics column, I have the metrics that I want to include in my report. What we need to do now is we need to deal with the second column from the left, tab settings. So I'm going to take my dimension, I'm going to drag and drop it under rows. So basically session default channel group is going to become the lines of my table report that is going to come up here in the middle of the screen. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to pick up, let's say total users, I'm going to drop it under values. I'm going to pick up sessions, I'm going to drop it under values again. Engage sessions, I'm going to drop it here. And same thing with average engagement time per session. And you can see that as I'm doing this, the table report is showing up in the middle of the screen. So now we have a table report where the first column is session default channel group, and we have total users and the metrics we selected subsequently showing up. Now, how can you customize this report further? First of all, there are three ways to visualize this report. Either plain text, so if you go under tab settings, under cell type, you can click here plain text and this table became basically all white plain text. Or you can visualize as a bar chart. So you can see basically here the bars that are part of your table. Or you can visualize as a heat map. So you can see here that the table here converted into a heat map. That makes it very easy for everyone to understand the metrics that are included and the trend lines in your data. One more thing you can do, you can click on any column if you want to sort your metrics in either ascending or descending order. So if you click here on the column total users, you can sort the data on descending order from highest to lowest. If you click one more time, it's from lowest to highest and so forth. Couple more useful capabilities you have when it comes to customizing the look and feel. You can insert a secondary dimension. So let's say you want to see channel performance, but you want to see channel performance broken down by device. You are going to go to your variables column under dimensions. We have already here the dimension called device category. You are going to pick it up and you're going to drag it under columns. And now here you can see that we have data that are relevant to our default channel group, but they are broken down 
by device category, desktop, mobile. And if we scroll on the right, we also have tablet, uh, the total performance of our channels. This is very useful in order to bring in a secondary dimension. You can also narrow down to any segment. For example, if you want to create basically, and if you want to narrow down to a specific subset of your users that adheres to certain criteria, you can click here under segments, the plus symbol, and you can create either a session segment or a user segment. For example, let's say we want to narrow down only to sessions that are relevant to people who visited a specific, let's say, URL. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say that I want to only include, for example, sessions and traffic that is relevant to people who visited the page where the title, for example, was, I don't know, whatever it is, let's say for your website. I'm just going to give you an example here, right? And now we're going to narrow down this report to a specific subset of our traffic. This is what a segment does to your reporting. The next thing that you can do is you can filter this table. So let's say here that we want to filter only the channels that have at least 100 or more sessions in the given time period. The time period we can customize here under variables. What you can do is you can scroll down on the tab settings. You can find filters all the way in the bottom. You can click here on the filters and you can give the conditions. You can say, for example, that I only want to include the channels when the sessions are higher than 100. And then you can click on apply. And now you can see that this filter is applicable to our report. And we only see the channels that are relevant to 100 or more sessions. You can also filter by dimension. So the same way we filter by metric, you can click here filters. You can say, I only want to see the channels that are relevant to organic traffic. So the session default channel group contains organic. And then you're going to apply. And now you're going to basically only see the channels that are relevant to organic traffic. So you can also filter down this uh, dimension to anything that is useful for you and exactly what you want to see. Last things that you need to remember, you can click here next to Freeform 1, this plus symbol, and you can add an additional tab. It functions a little bit like an Excel sheet. So imagine, let's say, I'm going to come here, I'm going to have my top level channel performance on the first tab, then I'm going to have my candy performance, then I'm going to have, let's say, my page performance. So you can create a custom report that has multiple tabs, and therefore you can deep dive into your website's performance quickly and easily. And the last thing, which is the most useful of all, this report is automatically going to be saved. So every time you land on your Google Analytics, if you go to your Explore tab, you are going to see that this report is going to come under this table. So you can click here on your report, you can access it, and therefore you don't have to use the interface and uh, create, let's say, all the filters and the segments from scratch every time you visit your Google Analytics for interface. This report is going to be waiting for you here. That's it. That's how easy it is to create a custom report or a free form report, as it's called now in GA4. I hope you found value in this video and you learned how to create your own preform reports. If this is the case, please subscribe and like. It will really help us to create more valuable content. That's all. See you in the next video.